It's here, the big reveal is finally here. A new upgrade, update, you know. Well, let me ask you, what's your uh, favorite part thus far? Yeah. No, one more reason to go to class. Hi art teachers, I'm Lindsay McGinnis and I'm the media content manager here at AUU. The Art of Education University's community engagement team has been really hard at work the last couple of days doing this art room makeover for a deserving art teacher. Delitza Chincota has been in this classroom since 2002 and he desperately needed a room makeover. So in this episode today, we have a few projects to wrap up, a giveaway announcement with details on how you can enter to win supplies to freshen up your art room and then we'll show off the final space. Come along with us. There is a long row of bookshelves or shelving in Shinkoda's room that we really wanted to make functional for him and the students. Come here. There's a hidden... <laughs> 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 a hidden treasure. <laughs> There were two layers of countertop on there. We removed the top layer. We gave the whole shelving unit a really good scrub down, scraped away a lot of the gum and debris on there. Wow. Artist you just threw it right in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This was our artist dustpan started some new shelf pins so that we could put the shelves in place, took off the broken doors, and already it was a huge transformation. We also purchased some really heavy duty plastic storage containers with attached lids. The attached lids are so important because the lids will not get lost and they are clear so that students can see exactly what's inside of them. We also put on some adhesive label pockets and inserted some fun labels into them to also tell students what's inside. Another plus with these bins is that they stack so we can fit more on each shelf. A big shout out to NASCO for providing Chincota with art supplies for his students. They gifted him a ton of things, including canvas panels, acrylic paint, drawing pencils, pastels, and colored pencils. Learn more about how to organize your art supplies and label them in our mini series called Artfully Organized. Janet put together an amazing sub tub so we could remove the outdated metal filing cabinet in the corner of the art room. Janet pulled a ton of resources from Flex Curriculum that would be a good fit for secondary students. Let's go see how she did it. An essential component to our classroom organization is our sub pub. Sub pub. <laughs> <laughs> to make several sub tubs, one specifically dedicated to all of my rosters, current seating charts, behavioral charts, or medical emergency notes, as well as any emergency protocols for my classroom, like fire or things like that. I then make a tub that is for each media that I teach. I might have one that's for ceramics, for art one, etc. Inside, I keep written one day lessons, maybe how to draw an eye. I also have lessons that could last maybe a few days. I like to have these stacked and ready to go. Inside each file folder, I like to have a laminated version so that I can always make multiple copies later. I also try to keep at least a class set sitting in there. These are also really great for any early finishers. Make sure to check out our Planning for Substitutes Pro Pack to get your sub tub set up with all of these best resources. Pro Learning is on-demand professional development for art teachers by art teachers. It is videos along with resources to help you improve your classroom management, instructional practices, and so much more. If you're interested in learning about how to get pro in your district, click the link below. Use the art teacher dustpan, a really big piece of paper. The artist dustpan. Just do it right in the trash can. <laughs> We also covered all of the bulletin boards with white bulletin board paper, which also helped to make the walls look seamless from floor to ceiling with the white paint and really brighten up the room. We added engaging career posters, artist bios of Chincota's go-to artists, and anchor charts to support his favorite art projects. You can find supplemental career resources, these artist bios and anchor charts in Flex Curriculum. Flex Curriculum is a K-12 instructional material library for art teachers. It has lessons 
recommendations, resources, assessments, and videos. If you're interested in getting Flex in your district, click the link below. So we are using these clips that have a pin on the back, which are really great because you can pin them right to the bulletin board, but also not have to damage your artwork and you can enter change the artwork at any time. This is our Art Hall of Fame. This is really exciting because this could be used in all different kinds of ways. So kids could put their school pictures up here. They could come doodle with a chalk marker or chalk. He could actually attach student work up here with a magnetic clip or something. Um, and the best part of all is if he doesn't like it, he can just erase it. One more way we were able to really brighten up the space and bring it into this century was to cover one of the large chalkboards with dry erase contact paper. Okay, so I wanted to draw up a simple play on the board. This works fine. It's just a one four uh, set up with some motion. Tim, some course. of us are working. Come on. All right, what tips do you have for putting dry erase contact paper up on a chalkboard? You just do it. Yeah. You just do it. Just do it. What are your warm tips? So first you line it up using the grid paper on the back. So when you overlap, it doesn't start going on an angle, right? Upward yes. or downward. Yeah. And then two people, Amber is squeegeeing. I am slowly pulling the backing off so that the sticky part doesn't get all staticky and lint on the junk in there. So it's nice and clean. Very <laughs> satisfying. This was a really fun project for us to do. Sorry. <laughs> Every teacher should have a space where they feel really confident to present information. So he had this podium, but what we did is we sanded it down, painted it with a really durable paint, and put a decal that spoke to his interests on it. And then as far as the desk below, same deal. We sanded it, painted it with that same paint, and then we did a whiteboard top, which is really fun. So he can write a to-do list or some notes if he wants to for when he's teaching. Um, and we're really excited about how this turned out. We are thrilled with how this desk area came out. So this area needed a major overhaul. So we got these really cool convertible desks. They can go in a lot of different configurations depending on teacher needs and some comfortable desk chairs that can also be standing chairs or sitting chairs. Uh, hey, let's build another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm failing at everything. I've been killed. Lindsay, Lindsay I've immediately is like, Let's run, go. run. <laughs> I've almost died two times. When we were cleaning out Shinkoda's art room, we discovered these three massive murals. We wanted to use them in some way, so we decided to sneak them into some of the corners of the room. It's basically a commemoration to uh, Gianna and Kobe after their passing. We're done by uh, Trey Wilkes. So he created, you know, uh, created this piece. So it's a three panel project. And I was like, you are never leaving my sight. We are finally finished with AUEU's first art room makeover. Let's take a look back at what the room looked like before and what it looks like now. watching for the full reveal and for all the giveaway details. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? You know, uh, I'm looking forward to whatever it is. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. I was telling the kids about it, so I'm just waiting to see change. Ah, <laughs> it is bright. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 
They got him. Oh, I love it. Wow, it's bright in here. Okay, so you have that old broken cabinet. And so Harris, a local art teacher, built these for you. This is a really cool DIY for teachers. So nice and open. Oh, snap, can't wear pop. Oh, I love it. Like the place is open. Wow, man, yeah, no more chalk. So we wanted to get uh, all the painting supplies a little bit more organized, mm -hmm. uh, looking good. So of course we got the hanging palettes, which we yes. all love. Yeah. Uh, a whole variety of brushes, paints, and a uh, little, little nod to contemporary art <laughs> with uh, <laughs> duct tape to the walls. There you guys. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> There's a basketball court over here. <laughs> Check out your problem. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. Classic. Here you come to save the day. Oh, I can walk. You can walk in there. <laughs> I can walk back here. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so we painted, sanded, painted this. You yes. have the art man uh, right here. Yeah. And then this is a dry erase board. So if you need to write like presentation notes yeah. or whatever, we wanted you to have a place where you can fill in and Awesome, oh, when you're teaching, so. Wow, this, this is beautiful. Can I point out too, you wanted organization, right. and so look at all of these bins. Mm. But at these two bins, just want to show you a couple things. Mm -hmm. um, we have a ton of resources in our flex curriculum. Yeah. Um, so we basically, took resources, laminated them, so you can make your copies for your uh, class sets. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, we want to make your life easier, right? Oh, man. You, oh, you have made it more than easier. Yeah. It's great. Oh, my gosh. So great. <laughs> Everything in here is my favorite. I mean, the repainting of the wall, like, brightens the room up. Or just everything about it is just bright. Secondly, the organization. Like, before I didn't have organization like that, but now I do. I had to let trust the process because I, I couldn't do it myself. So um, allowing strangers to come and do that was a big release, literally a big release. And I'm glad that I uh, accepted and it shows. We um, have some supplies for you from NASCO. Lots of fun things. Mm -hmm. From AOEU, we have good vibes and art supplies <laughs> Thank you. for each of you. We twin and twin. Uh, <laughs> money, money. You know what I'm saying? And then our friends at Blick really went above and beyond, and they're also giving you $500 oh. for your art department. <laughs> wow. Um, thank so you, we have all of those thank gift you, certificates for you. Yeah. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, this is dope. <laughs> <laughs> that check looks so small when you guys hold it. Yeah. No one knows when I hold it. All right, and also our friends at Canary gifted you a mm. class set, so 40 Canary Cutters. Wow. Do you know Canary Cutters? No, I do These not. are the best cardboard tool you will ever use. So these mm. are, they cut through cardboard like butter. You can yes. also use them to break down boxes. And yeah. they have like a semi-safety blade. So it's like just a little bit sharper than a butter knife, but yeah. it cuts the cardboard so, so easily. Like, so yeah. it's so safe for kids. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. Right? You want to try it? It's about it? to go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Effortless. Right. It's like butter. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got the whole music scene. I love it. It's so, wow. It's, it's, it's a blessing. 23 years later doing this and to see this come to fruition, it's, it's amazing. So thank you guys, appreciate it. All right, it is giveaway time, the moment you've been waiting for. If you're wondering how you can freshen up your art room to kick off the new year, we have the perfect giveaway for you to enter. Head on over to the magazine at theartofeducation.edu slash magazine to fill out the entry form. We'll randomly select three art teachers, and if you're one of the lucky winners, we'll send you all of the supplies that you will need to do one of the DIYs featured in this makeover series. You'll also have the opportunity to get an art room consult with us, the community engagement team at AOVU. 
subscribe to AOU and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any more Art Room Makeover content. Good luck!